من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف المہدی سنڈے اسکول ایلڈرز آف دی کمیونٹی فیتھ فل کمپینینس برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان ایمان فسٹ اینڈ فور موسٹ لیٹ می سے پیس بی اپان آل آف یو اٹ مینس سلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مے اللہ سینڈ ہز بلیسنگز اینڈ مرسیز اپان آل آف اس ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ہاؤ ٹو پروینٹ فرام کرونا وائرس لیٹ می ٹیل my students, my young listeners, how to prevent, how to push back, how to treat, how to react. There are two types of treatments, prevention, cures, and cares. First is called medical point of view which you may follow the physicians, medical experts. You may ask them, inquire online, and bunch of advices are there on social media. Although there are several fake artificial hard work of unqualified physicians but bunch of them are proper required and according to law i pray for all of you may allah protect you by the vasila of source of infallible personalities. May Allah keep you healthy. Those who are sick, may Allah recover them. This will be a very beneficial class for all of our students, parents of the students, congregants of Al-Mahdi Center, Al-Quran Center, Al-Mahdi Seminary, Imam Barga, here and all over the world, those who follow us online, Al-Mahdi TV is proud to present its services to mankind, human beings, to Muslims and Mu'mini, Mu'minat. My humble advice for my young listeners is, do not follow unqualified doctors, but always follow the experts one, according to medical needs. There are few suggestions by herbal doctors, Islamic medicine from our infallible personalities, Masumin. You may follow all those because all of those advices doesn't require any kind of prescription. Beyond that, don't go and don't interfere in the matter which is not allowed in your countries, particularly in US and we are in these states, Philadelphia, New Jersey, and New York, where al Foundation is serving the community. So, avoiding distance, avoiding merging, having social distance is required. Five to six feet, lately they say six feet, Try to avoid traveling. If you are getting out, have use masks. 
use gloves, socks, cover your body properly and when you come back wash your hands at least for 20 minutes. This virus comes into the body of human beings by mouth, by nose or eyes. Please cover at least these three organs of the body. Usually we are very careful to cover the eyes, at least wear the glasses. Use the mask N95 and wash the socks immediately when you are, when you are coming from outside. Throw away the disposable socks or gloves or masks. Don't reuse them. The disposable one, the socks which are not disposable, wash them. Even wash your clothes. clothes. When you are going to stores, don't get close to other human beings, when you touch gas stations, knob and doors of the stores, wash your hands or touch with the gloves and don't use these gloves over unless you wash them. These are few advices and you are following, I believe you know better than me and you are spending hours and hours these days when you are at home and you are watching TV and you are using the social media. But don't get scared. This is my humble advice. Don't get scared. Don't get afraid. Don't have that much fear which can weaken your immune system. <coughs> these days to fight back to corona virus covid-19 is to strengthen your immune system and use those diets which will help to strengthen your immune system like vegetables like the fruits like nuts eat less meat and have good willpower this is one page of the book. The other page is spiritual aspects. It's my humble advice to my young listeners and students of Al Mahdi Sunday School. We had limited students when we used to teach at Al Mahdi Center, but now we have a lot of students non-registered students, we do not have their list, but they are big in number. I was told and I was approached by some of the parents that why don't you start your Sunday school online. Alhamdulillah, that is why I am starting today, inshallah, from next Sunday. Our other colleagues will help us, inshallah. Morana Vaseem Abbas Malik, Morana Sheikh Ali Raza Alawi, Morana Al Haj Sayyid Muhammad Asghar Naqavi Najafi, Morana Mukhtar Hussain, our respected brother Agha Khawar Ali Khawri, and youngsters like Misam Zaidi, Hafiz Mubashir Razib, etc. They will help us, inshallah, and we will make our classes more beneficial for our viewers and listeners. You may record these classes or get recording from Al Mahdi TV, it's very easy. And you may send this as a gift to your friends, families, relatives, even elders, youngers, youngsters, youth. Even you can send these classes to your Muslim brothers and sisters.
because our education and our curriculum, our syllabus is not against any sect of Muslims. And we try to unite entire nation of prophet. And our goal is to create love among the communities and to create love of Ahlul Bayt in the hearts of entire human beings, regardless Muslims or Christian or Jews or Hindus or Sikhs. That is why, Alhamdulillah, we have attracted our human fellows toward Islam and toward Shiaism, toward school of thought of Ahlul Bayt. We don't believe in hatred and sectarianism. The goal of al Mahdi Foundation is to unite the nation, to unite the human beings even. Second page of the book is, or second face of the picture is, second side of the picture is, to cure, to treat coronavirus, God forbid if someone has it or someone has danger. I got several calls yesterday, today, messages that I'm coughing, I have fever, 104, 103, I have stomach, I have headache continuously. I have rashes, so, sore throat, running nose, pneumonia, double pneumonia, breath problem, I cannot breathe, breathing problem, etc. So there are some symptoms you may check online, it is very clear and you may know whether there is virus, God forbid, in your bodies or not, don't get scared even. Believe me, we got some good reports. We got some negative reports from those patients who were positive. When they cured themselves, when they were not afraid, they were following the advices of the doctors, nurses, pharmacists. They were using medicine. Although, as you heard in the programs, there is no vaccine at the moment at all, unless we get good news, inshallah, soon, pray for it. That is why offer the prayers on time offer recommended prayers as well along with the compulsory one. Recite Holy Quran, recite the duas, recite Isma Azam, great names of Allah, and use the source of Muhammad and Alu Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, and learn something from the stories of ancient civilizations and nations, and learn from Quran how they used to care themselves and how they used to prevent this kind of viruses in past and when the wrath of Allah was there, how they were besieging Allah, requesting Allah, how they were humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how their prophets told them, taught them how to prevent this kind of wrath and punishment by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us and may Allah protect us all. If you are not candidate of the virus, you are not positive, still you have to be very careful to protect yourself, to avoid yourself from getting this uh, worst virus of the time. You reduce your journeys you minimize your traveling, 
you minimize your sociologies. It's a really shame to tell you that our brothers, they are doing barbecue parties at their homes. And if the police will know, they might arrest you. Please do not do this kind of stupid exercises. They are not allowing us to have Juma prayer, congregational prayer. We miss Jashan of Imam of the time. We are missing the worship of Laylatul Baraat congregationally. We are missing the sessions of prayers. We are missing our social services like even the religious services like the marriages. We are not performing marriages. Weddings are suspended. Umrah is suspended. Ziyarat are suspended. Hajj is about to get suspended. And you are doing barbecues at your homes. This is time of barbecue. Those bad habits which were cause that Allah put wrath on us. Whether this is a test or wrath, is it a punishment or it is exam? I am very humble to decide and to draw the line between these two opposite or semi-opposite directions. But I can say one thing, that disobedience to God was on peak. That is why it happened. And we are supposed to compensate. We are supposed to change our mentalities. If we are the same, how we will be forgiven? Have the party, if you can, five people maximum, or 10. Even the uh, funerals are not allowed more than 10 people. So how come you are doing parties at your homes more than 10 people? This is good. This is not good. Don't get in trouble. My young listeners and viewers, we are locked up. And we are we have locked down. We are locked up in our homes. We are stuck and blocked. We are unable to continue our routine life. Even we are afraid to walk out of our homes. We are losing jobs on daily basis. We have vacuum and leakage of diet and food products. We cannot drive. We cannot ride. We cannot go out. We are self-detained in our homes. Not only the US people all over the world not only the poor, rich people as well, not only the public rulers as well, not only the soldiers, generals as well, <clears throat> not only the needy people, over rich, white collar community as well. Not only the slaves, kings and princes are locked up as well. All over the world is lockdown going on, whether through curfew, through army, through police, through authorities, agencies, social services, etc. What we are supposed to do, my young listeners and my dear students, let us be careful for our physical body 
and let us follow the rules and regulations of medical experts and the authorities. Also, let us be very careful spiritually and raise our level of worship, raise our level of patience, tolerance, raise our level of love and harmony, raise our level of prayers, forgiveness, repentance, raise our level to pay off the dues of creator and creation, raise our level of ethics and morality, this will cause both sides of picture, will cause downfall for the corona and all kind of diseases and viruses or bacteria. My dear students, you are at home these days. But if you are wasting your time, you have screen sickness before corona. And if you are becoming more sick by the screen, this is not good. Spend some time to remember Allah. Raise the time for the recitation of Holy Quran. Have some time to understand the lifestyles of infallible personalities. Learn some more stories of the civilizations and nations. Memorize some ayat of Quran, communications of Allah, verses of Quran. Memorize some advices by Prophet and Imams. Especially the girls learn and memorize some advices by Holiest Lady Fatima and the sayings of Bibi Zainab Umbi Kulsum and all the infallible and semi-infallible, assistant infallible personalities of Ahlul Bayt. May Allah peace be, peace be upon all of them. <coughs> May Allah send his mercies toward all human beings and especially to the holy progeny of uh, Prophet. We are proud of the treasure which we got from Holy Prophet and our Imams, Ahlul Bayt, Holy Ladies. We should not neglect those messages and should not ignore all these advices and commandments. Alhamdulillah, yesterday I requested one of my minor institute orphanage in Chakwal, Pakistan. I messaged them that we are reciting 70 times Dua Ul Joshan, short and lengthy, small and big, Sagir and Kabir. And you will be surprised. Mashallah, 70 times both duas were recited by 23 orphans, Sadat of Kazmi and Naqvi families from the orphanage of Baitul Mahdi Chakwal. I salute these young girls of Sadat. May Allah bless you. We are proud of you. How pious you are. My daughters who are living in US or Canada or in West or in East, please, you also follow this way. I do have some of the brothers and sisters who finished. Alhamdulillah, I, I do have a list, inshallah. I, I will tell, I will share with all of you, but it is not that much as those young girls have done and have recited. My humble request from all of you is, don't waste your time, especially my students, when you are at home, don't only eat and sleep. 
and watch the TV. Each of you are supposed to shower every day, eat as required, do not overeat, be careful, stay away from merging, have the social distance if you are going outside to buy something from the stores, drive less, ride less, walk less, jog less. These days you have to change and spend some time to educate yourself. These days, believe me, start memorizing the Quran, start memorizing the Hadith, start memorizing the Tawzih al-Masail, Islamic laws books of Maraji'ah. Start memorizing the names of the Shia books. Start memorizing names of clergies. Start memorizing names of prophets. Start memorizing names of ancient civilizations or nations. Start memorizing some kind of words of wisdom. Najul Balagha, Sahifa Sajjadiyya, Muntah al-Amal, Ahsan al-Maqal, Kafi, Man la yahduruhu al-Faqi, Tahzeeb, etc. These books, which were written by our great clergies, Al-Istibsar, Vasail al-Shia, Bihar, I don't say you become Maulana, but I say, you become a Muslim, a mu'min, a mukhlas, sincere, mukhlas, sincere to Allah, sincere to Prophet, sincere to Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam. I do not say each and everybody should spend 12 hours for the religious activities. At least you spend one hour. Start from today. My humble request from all of the students, inshallah, I will appear before you every Sunday, but I am appearing every day. You may attend my humble sermons, speeches, or lectures, classes, research work every day, five to seven. I am here with you. I can divide it into English and Urdu. I don't have any problem for the language, as Alhamdulillah, I have started for Persian speaking brothers as well every Thursday, and I am about to start some classes in Arabic language as well. But I am ready to serve you in English. If you send me messages, how many of you attended today's Sunday school? We have also started Al Mahdi school. Madrasatul Mahdi, we have Al Mahdi Seminary, we have Islamic Institute of Theology College level program. We can teach, we can serve, but if you are ready, willing, because according to economics, which I read in, which I studied in my bachelor classes in Johorabad and Saiva when I was in third year and fourth year, supply is according to demand. If you want demand, how come I can give you supply? Please, today, my students, you send me a message and tell me how many of you attended today's class. Then, inshallah, I can serve you more. Let me sum up my humble talk and humble class. That today our class is regarding how to prevent coronavirus spiritually, medically. As you are very careful, curious, that you don't follow the commandments of unqualified doctors, please do not follow the commandments of unqualified Maulanas. You have no vacuum to find qualified clergies and clerics.
don't use those people who may damage your spirit, your soul, as the unqualified doctor may damage your physical body. Always follow the experts and start seeking and searching about the experts. Mashallah, experts of soul, spirit, spiritual knowledge, ethics, ethical sciences are even more than physical doctors. Mashallah, especially among Shias, you have no vacuum. Please concern with those ulama who are qualified by seminaries and schools, even schools. If they are, even if they are primary, is okay. But if they did not go to school, please don't waste your lives, waste your privilege. Do not waste your dignity. As you don't your, waste your dignity by following the unqualified doctors. Few days back, I was having a live program and I got some doctor over the phone. Before he started talking, he said, I'm not, I'm not qualified, certified physician. DHA did not approve my products. So he was full of fear. Even those who claim they are qualified, Maulanas should be aware of this. If the people, they get afraid from DHA, there is a system of federal authority, FHA, Federal High Authority of Allah. Have some fear from FHA and do not ruin the people's life. You go and do some other job. If you did not pick yourself to become a clergy or cleric, so why you are wasting your time to interfere in these matters? So why the ulama are spending their decades of their life to learn and have research? If you are hijacking and overlapping and posing yourself, which you are not. It's my humble request. My dear students, five, four minutes, four, five minutes, five more minutes maximum. I will speak, I'll sum up today's class, and then you have 10 minutes to talk. If you have calls, you may call me. My phone number is 856 -266 Within five minutes, you get ready to ask any question or to make any comments. Although my English is not that rich as your English is, but Alhamdulillah, I can communicate and I can convince, I can convey my message. Even I can convince youth whatever I want to say. Alhamdulillah, I'm becoming very fluent now in English and inshallah, I can do it on every day, daily basis. If you be kind enough and you come and tell me you are attending, if you are playing games now and I am spending one hour in this uh, studio, which is in Imam Barga, so it won't work. Parents of the students, please tell them, even if they are youth, tell them, even if they are children, even all of you, I humbly request you, this class will be very beneficial for all of you. I pray to God, Almighty Allah, to be kind enough for us and to forgive us. Oh Allah, we have no excuse to prove us innocent. We are guilty. We plead our guilty. And you become kind enough and forgive us. We have appeal of mercy. We have no attorney, we have no fees, we have no file. 
we have no excuse. We have no reason. We have no logic. We have no philosophy. We have no material to protect ourselves. No means, no sources. We accept. We pledge guilty. We are sinners. Please forgive us. Don't put wrath on us. We are not capable for your test, Allah. We have only source of Ahlul Bayt, Muhammad and Al Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. We have only source of them. Please forgive us by their source. Forgive us by Quran. Forgive us by Torah, Zabur, Injil. Forgive us by the source of prophets and angels, successors of the angels, innocent personalities of the world, the innocent children by innocent children. Forgive us by infallibles. O oh Allah, give us capability to remember you more. Give us capability, Allah, to offer our prayers on time. O oh Allah, give us capability to recite Holy Quran. O oh Allah, give us capability to not neglect and ignore your communications and verses, commandments and advices. Allah give us capability to remember Muhammad and Al Muhammad and make them good wasila before you. Allah open the doors of Kaaba, Medina. Let us visit Holy Kaaba, Holy Shrine of Prophet Gumbad Khazra. Open the doors of Najaf, Karbala, Kazman, Samarra, Syria. Sham, Qum, Mashhad, and all sacred places and holy sites. Allah give us capability to avoid committing sins. Give us capability to avoid backbiting, to avoid rudeness, to avoid lying, spreading rumors and false statements. Allah give us capability to avoid from committing each kind of crime, whether that is harmful to bodies or harmful to spirits and souls. Allah give us capability to learn from this wrath and to be successful in this test. If it is test, if it is death, if it is wrath, punishment, O oh Allah, forgive us. Accept our repentance. Give us approval of, approval of Tawbatan Nasuha. O Allah, give us capability to visit Imam Hussain in this world and make Imam Hussain our Shafi on the day of judgment. Allah give us capability to not play games with our relatives, with the innocent communities, and with Islamic laws. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim. Now you may ask the questions for 10 minutes. Assalamu alaikum, sister. How are you? Go ahead. Thank you, thank you. May Allah bless you and bless them, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also ask your children, sister, to call and to attend these English classes, especially all of the children they are supposed to attend. Thank you very much for calling us. Sister is calling us and appreciating all these efforts. May Allah bless you, bless your family, and bless your children. Thank you. You may call, please make these calls in English. If you do not know English, I will answer in English because I want to uh, market this class for non-Urdu, English-speaking people, whether they are converted, whether they are diverted, whether they are native Muslims and Shias. Thank you very much for calling us. 
sister, you may call us. I know a lot of brothers and sisters, they say, oh, we were watching your program and we are very thankful to you, but they never participate. I don't know why they never participate. You participate in this case, we will know how much response we are getting from our community. Today's class, which is class number 59 of al Mahdi Sunday School online. Alhamdulillah, it was very successful class. And today we learned about physical and spiritual treatments, cures, preventations from COVID-19, Corona virus. MashaAllah, it was very uh, nice class. And if you want to call, please call at 856-266-5786. We have another caller. Let us see who is this and what he says. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir. You want to make some comment? Okay. You want to make any comment or ask any question, brother? I think he's sleeping. Please get awake. I humbly request you. These classes are very beneficial for each level of age. Grandfather can have this class with, along with the grandson. Grandmother with granddaughter. Father with, with generation and generation with father, brothers, sisters. These are very beneficial classes. And I appreciate those who are attending these classes. And I advise those who are watching only TVs wasting their time, are spreading the rumors, and even teasing these days when we have danger of corona. Believe me, all of the human beings are near to get into ocean of death. The danger of death is about to swallow us. Flood of the death, death is about to swallow us, and still we are not learning, we are not getting any knowledge, criticism, this and that, taunting and teasing, bothering is becoming our goal, even after watching these horrific, tragic, tragic scenes, we are not learning. So when we will learn, my brothers and sisters in Iman, Please be punctual, 5 to 7. Each and every day I am here to serve you until the lockdown is over and our days of prison in our houses gets over. We have one more call. Let us see who is this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello. Can you tell us how the imam gets happy at us? How imam gets happy? Very nice. Yes, thank you very much for calling me. Imam gets happy if we offer the prayers on time, if we recite Holy Quran, if we please our parents, and if we are humble and polite, if we fast, if we speak truth, if we don't bother and tease anybody. Thank you very much. And may Allah bless you and your family. Any more question? In few minutes, we are about to dismiss our class. We have a few more minutes. Please come forward and you may call, may ask any question, as this young girl, mashallah, have wonderful and bless, blessed life you may ask some questions. Even the old people, this is a school for each and everybody. You know my style. I speak at the level which is uh, for all. May Allah bless you. May Allah keep all of us away from the coronavirus and all diseases. And may Allah recover those who are on ventilators, who are on the beds of corona or some other disease. And may Allah rest the souls of those who have died already by corona or non-corona, 
my dear brothers sisters in islam and iman my dear students youth boys and girls don't forget we all have to prove positive accountability before almighty god and allah is not going to forgive us if we willingly commit the crime and sins maybe due to the law community is not committing those crimes by them they go in jail but they might commit some crimes to tease bother to raise someone's blood pressure level of diabetes this is also a major sin avoid it may allah bless you all with this i dismiss class for today al madi sunday school class number 59 is over next sunday inshallah we will have class number 60 may allah bless you all thank you for having me and have a wonderful life have a wonderful day have a wonderful way of life have blessed life with much more health and wealth peace be upon all of you wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh